Joining me right now is the man whose life inspired the character played by Matthew McConaughey in the movie, Two for the Money. For 15 years, Brandon Lang has worked in the gambling business, and he says he's the best handicapper in the world. I mean, I look at it now, and you're talking about, he, again, he alluded to the sophistication of it all. How would you describe it right now? It's more accessible to everybody. Um, the wealth of information available to the general Joe Blow is out there. NFL puts out injury reports every day throughout the entire week, finalizes it on Sunday. Huge difference in questionable and doubtful. So the general sports better via the Internet now has access to so much more than back in Glenn's day when he first got in the 80s that that has made it more appealing to everyone. And now with the Internet being as big as it is, gambling's just getting bigger. Did you ever see it getting to this point, though? Yeah, I mean... When? In, in when two for the money takes place, in, in the heat of that minute, when you get on a winning streak, and I, I won for three and a half years straight, guys come out of the woodworks. Guys who don't even gamble will come out of the woodwork to jump on a winning streak because they can see you can make money. Money won is much more fun than money earned. That's why Vegas is there. That's why craps and blackjack and everything. Gambling gives you an adrenaline rush that nothing else can compare to on the face of the earth. But you're somebody who walked away from it, just like you showed it, just like it depicted in the movie. You came, in, you, you, know, you, came, you came to New York, you did it. You know, it, the pressure got to you, and ultimately some, it was something that you ultimately ended up walking away from, correct? True, because I worked for people that were dictating to me how I live my life. I walked away caddied because I knew I had a great idea and a great story, networked the movie idea, and then I came back to work in the business on my own terms, which is BrandonLang.com, which is my standalone website, which is now it's my terms on, on my word.